what's happening is Liberty Street has been slowly being revitalized. You know, there's a lot more development along here. Owners, you know, like Jim Hitch, who we've partnered with to manage and lease the asset, have put capital dollars into their buildings to really improve them. They're, they've got great parking, you know, so it's a fantastic option for businesses to come here. They're paying less in rent. They have a little bit more parking flexibility. They've got a great set of traffic coming and going, both from the businesses and the residential here, but also people just driving back and forth. One of our first stores was on East St. Julian. Um, so we did want to come back downtown, so in October of 2012, we opened a store in City Market on West St. Julian in the City Market area. Um, that store really took off, and so we wanted to provide something a little different in the downtown market. We do get a lot of foot traffic. Um, our foot traffic is quite different uh, from the City Market store. The City Market store is quite a hustle and bustle area. Uh, this area gives people the opportunity to come in, um, shop a little slower. There's a little more connectivity, I feel, with the customers in the store. Um, you can have a little more one-on-one, uh, hands-on experience. You can tell the story of the company, spend time with them at the cookie bar, help them choose the correct gift, whether it's for a wedding, shower, or just a small party. I think um, Liberty Street's showing a lot of um, revitalization and I've noticed that some of the businesses like ours are local businesses. They're not high-end retailers that are coming in from out of state. They're local businesses like mine that have uh, purchased buildings or lease space to move their business down to the historic district. We'll have several um, units available with windows and exposure to foot traffic along Liberty Street and uh, tenant spaces uh, range from 2,000 square feet to 1,000 square feet. So whatever a particular business may need as far as square footage, but it will, all our spaces do have windows and um, you know, people that are walking down the street could, could look in and see what you got. I think um, there'll be a lot of exposure to any business that does move down to this area with the increase in foot traffic from grocery stores and new residential builds in this same corner. I think a business that chooses this location would see a lot of uh, foot traffic and exposure to um, whatever they bring to the area. I loved where I was on Broughton. It was a great place to start the business. I loved my neighbors. We had a lot of really cute boutiques on the block, but the diversity down here has really proven to be beneficial. Um, our foot traffic is definitely up. Um, our sales are up. The, the restaurants, the coffee shop, the bike shop, Grayton Towers, the hotel, and then, you know, Bull's the center of town. That's where all the tourists start. And so then they'll branch off after that. And so we get a little bit of everything. This is our home for a while, and we're just gonna keep growing it. Um, we have more floor space to fill, which um, we're going to do and hopefully more wholesale stores and you'll find Zacho and more boutiques across the country in the next couple of years and um, just grow our Zacho family. Um, we've got space, actually 4,400 square feet currently in the 541 East Liberty building. Um, Pan Am Dental Labs is going to um, be in that space here shortly. Um, we, and we already have tenants in the building, but we have that 4,400 square feet that's available now. Um, great, great terms, I mean, especially compared to, to other downtown properties. Um, but you call us and um, we'll absolutely get you in some space.